Rides here. You ready? Ready. <gasps> okay. <gasps> this movie, this movie is sci-fi. <gasps> Good evening, Your Majesty. This movie is about as sci-fi as you can get. It's beautiful, it's very big, very detail-oriented. It's deep, it's profound. Crazy and exciting. Some brilliant storylines, to their brilliant action, to their brilliant characters, to everything. It's to, to, to the world. I'm just talking about you. To the worlds they create. Mine. <laughs> it's not. I mean, I was the kid in, you know, the theaters the first night of, uh, of Matrix, one, two, and three, to meet the people behind a movie that meant so much to me. It was, you know, one reason why I wanted just to have a meeting with them. It was just uh, the opportunity to work with artists with, with uh, their originality, who are avant-garde, who are kind of fearless in pursuing their vision. Well, they have such an extraordinary visual take on the world, the Wachowskis, and they work with such formidable creative talent around them. It obviously always helps to be working with a team that you're familiar with. Lon and Andy, you know, their, their big thing is always that they like to have a good amount of prep time to generate ideas. So a lot of the early discussions, you can kind of leapfrog and instead get into the things that you each know that you're going to be strong at and can support each other in. I've been lucky enough to work with them for, well, this is the sixth time, I think, and every time you have a shorthand with these people and it's, it's fantastic just to, to get picked straight up where we left off on the last one. You do get the feeling when you're working for them and being part of a family, the number of people who work as part of their family is, is huge on the film. Every movie they do is, is radically different, that, and that's one of the things I love about working with them, is you're, you're never caught up in doing the same thing. Filmmaking has been consumed by the, the notion of same, and there's great security in knowing what it is that you're making. You know, everybody wants to be able to see it before, and they're only really interested in original thought. There's not many filmmakers like them anymore who, who are endeavouring to do something that has never been done. In general, we're children of the 20th century, and that means that we're drawn to originality. We wished that there was more original material in the world. What's strange about our culture is that we switched almost overnight from a culture that championed originality. Generally, people who are born around when we were born, that sort of 60s through 2000 feel that way, whereas people who are born after that period actually crave familiarity. Originality was always the primary draw. It was always the thing that made you excited to see something different, see something that you hadn't seen before. They're not interested in doing anything that doesn't break new ground, not just cinematically, but for them as human beings. This is another part of their continuing evolution. Lana and Andy, they're really great human being, I think. On my very first day, we spent about two hours talking about a scene, and, and we were on set filming, and they had the patience and the interest and the time to really talk about it. They're considerate and sincere, and I think they love people. Terry Gilliam appears uh, in our film. We had asked him on a lark, like, who could be the center of the bureaucracy that would be funny? To actually have Terry Gilliam play one of the roles was a very fun and great idea because, of course, it's one of the famous examples of you know, overall bureaucracy in Brazil. I've always been a fan of their work. I mean, they're smart, and they're dangerous, and they've done great work. So how can I say no to them? As director, they're genius. It's funny because I see the Wachowskis as just walking Wikipedias. You only have to spend three minutes with Andy and Lana to know that they are two of the most intelligent people you've ever met in your life. Never had had my hair done by a robot before. You know, the Wachowskis are, are renowned for their design, their innovation, their imagination. And their imagination is, uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gone right out there. Trust me, honey, I could do this procedure with my eyes closed.
this is like this is vintage Wachowski you know this is them kind of returning back to that you know thing that we all love about the you know about the matrix evolution is just designed to a single purpose to create a profit they make you think about things and also give you something that you haven't seen before <laughs> You know, they're, they're adults who love comic books and they're adults that love sci-fi and they kind of live in that world and, and they want to let everyone experience what's in their head and, and kind of make it be tangible and make it be palatable. I'd never worked with a pair of directors, so I didn't know what that was going to be like, but they're one and the same. It's seamless. It really works really well. They're closer, I think, than any twins I've met. I mean, they literally do say the same things seconds after each other in different situations. What can I say that other people haven't said? They finish each other's sentences. I think each time they do a film, they try something new and they take a risk. We need a plan. We need firepower. So that's, I guess, that's the, um, you know, what makes it exciting. This is my family. It's too late now. Donna and Andy are sci-fi. You know, they, that's the world they came and grew up from, and, and uh, I think they know that world probably better than most. Every little detail is thought of. They, they see everything and they're very concise and clear about their decisions and it's really great to work with people like that because you know it's really well thought out. Everything's very, very specific. In color, in tone, in wardrobe especially. Like, the most detail-oriented directors that I've ever, ever worked with. And I think you'd be able to tell that because they're so involved in every single brick of the movie. I don't even know if I would call them filmmakers. You know, like they're, they're really the definition of artists, but this is just their big palette. The great thing about Laura and Andy is that there are no limits. The only limits are the ones you set yourself. And if you stop setting yourself limits, then you can come up with anything. When you sign on to the Wachowskis movie, you, you sort of become Alice, and every day you turn to set, you down the rabbit hole. It's not going to be possible for them to write a script that is just dumbed down action movie, you know, they don't do that. There's no edge to it. It's sort of limitless and eternal in a way, their imagination.